What is up you guys? Welcome back to Salvage Boys. Uh, we're here with the boat again. Look, I cleaned up this bay. Look how nice and clean. That's all the garbage in there. But I was working on the truck. I got a new little um, deal installed in here. The little connector. So, well, on the boat. And then I replaced this guy. So if you guys ever wonder if you have any issues with that, I messed and messed with it underneath the truck and uh, come to find out it was this guy, the little splitter that, um, let's see, this guy for the fifth wheel. Um, for some reason it wasn't working so I just plugged it in directly into that guy because I don't really do a fifth wheel in here anyways. So that's that and you can buy this at any auto parts store, plug and play, so that's good to know. But today I'm trying to restore the um, dash or the cluster on this thing stand it down re-clear it um and maybe do some other things but this thing's almost done so make sure you guys subscribe like the video post notifications on uh so you know when i post updates on this thing so let's get to it let's get to work on that cluster <laughs> As you've seen, I took this guy out right here, unscrewed all these guys. Hopefully I remember how they go back in there, but unscrewed everything. Actually got new bulbs in there, some LED blue bulbs. So I'm gonna change those out right away. But my plan is to get these guys out of here, sand this deal down and re-clear it. That's my goal and change the bulbs out. So I guess it's no no time to waste is get these guys out of there. And I'm thinking maybe just respray this guy too. Respray it black or something. It's like a hammer. I have this kind of paint. It's like a gray. Respray this. And I think she might be good to go. So let's stay or let's sand these things down and get to work. sanded them down, wiped them down with some denatured alcohol. Now let's re-clear them and see what happens. Hopefully they look good. i never done this before, so. Some Rust-Oleum clear. It's kind of cold today, so let's see what happens. What's the worst that can happen? We sand it down and re-clear again, so stay tuned. <laughs> cleared it and it turned out amazing look at this let me show you oh, amazing nope <laughs> that's a lie it did not turn around uh, it did not turn out amazing it didn't look very good it's cold um I was in a hurry and it looked like crap so I went ahead and sanded everything down again um, ruined it a little bit but then i had to sand it all the way down like probably a good 16th of an inch off the plastic and uh i went ahead and sanded everything perfectly then i buffed it no i used rubbing compound then polishing compound then wax like three times over and that's what happened right there so uh, let's see if you guys can see it it's not perfect but you can see everything and uh, it's no longer cloudy so I can see how fast I'm going and everything 
but yeah I'm pretty I'm glad how it turned out I mean it's not a hundred percent but it worked so next thing is getting dark already I'm gonna try to uh, paint the little thing a little cover right there paint that and uh, been running errands and stuff today so like always you know <laughs> started thinking I'm gonna do everything in one day and turns out I don't so stay tuned but the speedos done that was kind of one of my things that I was kind of you know not wanting to do because I didn't know how it was gonna turn out but looking at it now I mean it looks pretty good a lot better than it looked before so I probably did it wrong on the clear coating but you live you learn I use this guy right here on a drill and uh, wet sanding and all that stuff but sanded everything down I and mean, turned out pretty nice so I even tried some of this uh, headlight restoration thing but it didn't work as well at first then it did and I just used those three and that guy right there so it is what it is but probably somebody in the comments is gonna say oh you're doing it wrong you're doing it wrong hey doesn't matter how you get there as long as you do so and I think I got there on those so stay tuned let's paint that thing and go from there it's dark it's cold but you gotta paint this thing paint boots ready nice and secure over here look at that everything's prepped let's get to painting <laughs> probably thought this one through maybe put something on the ground but <laughs> oh man I mean there's like a little bit I mean there's like a little run right here but I mean it's not bad it is like that hammered paint or whatever so it does hide a lot of imperfections but I ain't gonna lie I should have probably maybe paused and thought about that thing right there. <laughs> I guess time to clean it up. So get some acetone, clean that thing up, or just leave it as a battle scar. So, but yeah, I mean it is darker, a lot darker now. But we'll see how it works. So that's that. That's that. Worst case scenario, like I always say, you can always repaint, rescuff stuff down. It's gonna be okay. It's okay to screw up. Look at that, no more paint. Still drying a little bit, but it is what it is. Can't win them all, so let's get back to work. So check this out. I took these guys right here. I took, let me take this out. So before we had, oops, don't drop them. Had these red ones in there. So let's put these red ones in there. And show you guys the comparison. Actually, I haven't even seen the comparison, so. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so we have the speedometer. We have. Don't short it out. Right there. You kind of see it. It's red. Not the prettiest, not the brightest. So I'm gonna take the bulbs out. I took all the red bulbs out out of everything. I bought these LED ones and I bought blue ones because I kind of like blue. So pop these guys in there. They just snap in there. Super easy. So if you ever want to do it on your boat, just clip in there and. That's it. So now, if I take and now watch this. Look nice and blue, LEDs, a lot brighter. Man, I don't do this at home, but look, I mean, that's pretty bright.
it's gonna look nice when all of them are in there but yeah so if anybody wants to uh, order some and convert there um, so here are the old ones there's six of them or five and then here are the new ones I ordered some extra ones if you guys wanted to get the part number there it is but yeah they're super cheap I think they were like 10 bucks or something I mean they weren't expensive at all but that's the comparison and they have like a LED here here and here so three little LEDs and you can get them white you can get them purple you can get them whatever color you want I got blue for now if I don't like it I can get you can even get a red LED but they're supposed to be a lot brighter I did them a long time ago on one of my old Fords same ones and uh, it worked out pretty well so that's it I mean that's how it turned out it ain't perfect I scratched a little bit there but at least you can see it and now with the LED it'll be awesome I think it'll be awesome okay guys so if you ever decide to take let's say the cluster apart a whole bunch of wires try not to forget where everything goes but it's pretty easy everything's color-coded so as long as you remember yellow is ground you know then you got power different kinds of power different kinds of everything so this one I kind of ruined a little bit but I think I can cut it and redo it so I'm gonna try to refresh in this kind of wipe it down I think it'll come back and uh, yeah so I got the speedo done right now I'm gonna wipe this down see how it comes back I don't really want to take this off and repaint it but I will if I have to I'm gonna try to cut in uh, these guys in there the light bars so I'm gonna try to cut them in here somewhere like this so we'll see how it goes look at that so I'm gonna tr either there or here I think up here gonna do that but bear with me I'm gonna freshen this up and put those lights in so I was gonna put the light switches up here but there's um, fiberglass behind there so I'm gonna have to put them down here two of them because there's nothing behind there so I don't want to cut through this and then the fiberglass over here there's nothing behind there so I'm gonna put them there and then kind of marked it out and uh, let me see it's about not too bad hopefully I don't hit them by accident but two of them right there perfect maybe here nah I think kind of hit it in there should be fine I think we'll be fine or somewhere <laughs> seen on the time lapse I got the holes drilled tried to use the grinder or the cutoff wheel no luck just drilled some holes cleaned it up look at that OEM plus baby look at that looks good coming along so now I can plug those back in there Hopefully I remember how I unplugged them. Um, finish this up and pretty much everything's wired in. Just have to do this, the amps, the stereo, and I think I'm done. Oh, yeah, I'm done. But <laughs> the the tower, so keep forgetting. But yeah, slowly coming along. Let me know what you guys want to see, if you want to see more in depth of how to do little things, but all of this is pretty easy so I just kind of put it together but yeah now you can kind of even see them behind the steering wheel I don't think I'll hit them by accident so good to go look at that boys uh, with the old broke a little bit but and with the new that LED in there perfect let's put the cover back on I think it goes like that Look at that, now blue LEDs on there. Good thing I had extra. There's one there, one in the front in there, and one behind me. So this one broke, so I had to take it all apart, but 
I'm gonna swap them all out and maybe add another one back here or something. Why not? Might as well go all out. What's up you guys? Yes, it is a new day, next day. Um, and yes, I did get a haircut, so I let this uh, cure overnight and uh, touched up some spots back here that I missed and some other little imperfections. These guys still holding up pretty good, so time to put it back in the boat and see what happens. Alright boys and girls, check this out. This is on here. Look how bad it, or this has turned out so nice it makes this look bad. But moment of truth, let me see. I'm gonna start with these LED lights. Nothing. Oh, there we go. Look at that blue LED. Blue LED. One in there. Everything works. Let's see if these guys work. Oop, wrong switch. Look at that. Oh, there's one more in here. Darn it. Gotta check it out. See if I can replace that one. But look at that so bright i wish i recorded it before i changed them out they're so bright now it's awesome love it and these are bright too i was surprised how bright these are well that's awesome let me go climb in there and see if i can change that one out that'll look pretty cool so or maybe keep it red i mean it doesn't really matter to me but yeah, everything works so uh, let me see these guys work Oh yeah. That works, seems to be working. So, hopefully everything works, nothing steamed, nothing smoked, so. All right, you guys, the cluster's done. I was dreading the day of doing this thing, but it's over now. I can put that behind me and uh, that's gonna call it for the video. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that little bell notification so you never miss any updates on the boat and other videos we post. Make sure you follow us on Instagram at Salvage Boys. But thanks for watching and you guys have a great day.